I'm going to do an inbox uh, preview of the Monogram 148 scale B58. But I thought to start off with, I would uh, show um, my previously built 148 scale Monogram B58. I did this probably over 20 years ago, something like that, around probably 20 years ago. And uh, it's obviously it's not very good. It, it, it was a long time before even I really started to get into airbrushing. I think this was a rattle can uh, spray paint job on it and uh, it, it's just been like hanging up and it's probably got the most dust on it of any kit that I have and I really wanted to do another one and do a like a really good job on it like uh, with my current modeling skills and it was suggested by uh, my uh, buddy that maybe what I could do is show a kit like uh, like my progression through modeling. I thought this would actually be a good candidate for that, which would be this, I'll keep this one around, this old uh, one I did years ago, and I will show the uh, kit in a moment that I picked up. But this is the, uh, the one I built here, which is uh, just like a massively huge, uh, um, kit uh, like once it's finished and I also put the Phoenix missiles on it because they use the B-58 as a Phoenix test bed but like I did this so many years ago and I really wanted to redo one and I'll get it out of the way and also the the wheel had fallen off of it too so I'll get that out of the way I was able to get this Hopefully it'll fit on camera here. It's the uh, the Monogram B58 Hustler kit, and uh, my local uh, hobby shop is uh, Copper's Hobbies in uh, Kitchener, Ontario. And uh, I reached out to them. Well, they kind of reached out and were asking people about their like Holy Grail kits, uh, you know, stuff that was really really hard to find. And I mentioned that this is uh, something I've been looking for, and they were actually able to track it down for me. Uh, if anybody's interested, if, if there's something you're really looking for, I would, uh, I would uh, try them, like give them an email, or you can find them on Facebook, I'm sure. And uh, it's Copper's Hobbies. And uh, like, just give them a message and uh, say you're looking for something and, and maybe they can help you out because they definitely helped me out this kit is like uh, the, the box on it is in excellent excellent condition so we're going to have an inbox preview of this kit again it's the monogram b58 hustler in 148 scale so we can have the uh, look at the aircraft there i think this is the boxing that my other the one that i built i think it was this boxing that i had we can see the uh, aircraft here on the side and this one has the white nose on it and it's telling us here some detail it's uh, 26 and a half inches long and on the side here and I guess our kit number is going to be 58 we'll flip it around and so it's showing us some details of the aircraft here the uh, stuff there and some more information on the side and it's boxed in 1999 I'm not sure the original uh, like release when this actually came out what year but I will put it in the description if somebody wants to know so we'll open it up and we'll have a look at what comes in here and so it has a really nice sturdy box this kit I like when they did these where they folded them over on the edge. These are about the best boxes for protecting kits that I, I think that were made. And then so again we have our instructions and it's just giving us uh, information on the actual aircraft itself here. And it's one of these poster foldouts. We have our colors here. It's telling us to paint. Um, it's not giving us a brand on here I don't think yeah so there's really no brand there but then we can see our instructions for building it the really unique ejection seats there which are really cool 
There's our cockpit. And you can see the massive wing on there. And more pieces of the uh, cockpit and the wheels. The way monogram kits go together, they seem to be built really tough. Like they're they're really good for hanging on the ceiling. They don't really have any uh, weak points to them. Like you can see how big the wing spire is in this thing. So we've got our various gear here and our fuselage going together and our engines. I know there's a couple uh, engine sets out there, like seamless intake uh, engine sets. And I believe there's also a tail cone. You can see the uh, like the rotary cannon that's on the tail. There's a resin set for that also. And then here's a bomb. I'm guessing it's the nuclear bomb. Like if you read the uh, um, the stuff it says in the um, description, I'm sure that's some type of a nuclear bomb there. Or you can have the... Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what these uh, bomb halves are like if it's an actual bomb one of them or if one is a, a fuel t yeah that one's called the fuel and bomb pod I don't really know how these things work because it was from that uh, 1950s era early 60s era they had all kinds of nuclear weapons and things and I don't really understand them too well so um, and here's our canopy like everything looks uh, pretty good it looks like uh, not too complicated of a kit and our decals here which have held up the the backing is uh, like yellow like I guess it's yellowed but if you look at the decals themselves they have they don't appear to have yellowed you can see the Air Force here is just starting to get some color to it but it looks like um, because like if I do did this now I would cut all of this out before I uh, put it on but it doesn't seem to be yellowed it's or it might just be starting it so these are perfectly usable decals you can see here so we get all our walkways in that and i guess it's just one aircraft not sure if we okay yeah here's our uh, painting instructions here so i guess it's just for one aircraft or no it would be yes okay sorry it is one aircraft you can see there and I'll flip it around here. I mean, there's nothing too exciting to it. Some of them are colorful, the B-58s, but this one isn't in particular. And there is a, a decal sheet out there. There's one even, I believe, it has the Southeast Asia camouflage on it. So here's our, like, bomb slash fuel tank thing, which is just huge. And we'll move on here. I think there's like one out of the bag, but I... Um, are these open? Uh, they're opened a little bit, but I don't want to pull them out because this is quite an expensive sought-after kit, so I don't want to pull out what I don't have to. So here's our engines, and you can see the uh, like raised panel lines on them. They look alright. And our... Like the, the landing gear is highly detailed. You can see the lights and everything on them. Our various pieces. And our seat here is really nice. It's got the belts on it and everything. There isn't a whole lot you're going to see inside a B-58 unless you leave the the um, like canopies open. And then here's our like our wheel wells and stuff. You can see how highly highly detailed they are. They look excellent. And so this thing is not the easiest if you want to have the uh, if you want to have them closed. It's not really that easy. You can see our details on here, and our engines, and I think I'm not sure if this is the pilot or the navigator section. But you can see the complexity of buttons and things in there. Really complex, and they they did a good job on those. And I guess we'll grab the, the fuselage here. You can see how massive it is. Nice that they did it this way. I, sometimes 
I'm not sure if it's better to split it this way or down the top. I probably would have preferred it down the top because it's it's actually very hard to get the seam out the side. Um, kind of just is what it is. I mean, you get one or the other. But this, again, makes it a very strong, uh, like structurally strong if you hang it up or whatever. You can see the details on here. Our little window section in the front here. And nothing much to see in there. We'll have a look at the glass since the glass is right here. And the glass is actually quite beautiful. For a, for a monogram kit, like it's very, very clear. Like it, it it's really clear. I mean that's one of the best monogram canopies I think I've ever seen. Like it is like crystal clear. It's pretty much perfect. And then the other pieces here. And we'll move on. We got another bag and this is, uh, this would be like our last bag. Again, I really don't want to get this out of the, uh, of the bags because I don't think I necessarily have to. Um, you can see our, uh, like our flaps here and that. They're, they're not going to be posable, typical monogram. and. The excellent uh, again the excellent structure of how this is built like this is all one piece you don't have to plug the wings in or anything so it's quite strong and here's our tail section which is really neat with the uh, the cannon on the tail there and the wheels the wheels are quite highly detailed it's pretty much everything you can expect from monogram and then here's our Bombs. I'm guessing new, uh, some type of a nuclear bomb, which they are actually very highly detailed. Also, and we'll flip it around. <laughs> you can see how large the uh, the wing here is, all one piece. And our engines. The engines are like there isn't a whole lot to what the engines are, but they probably could be slightly improved. Uh, like just the way they are, but they are detailed inside and out. If it shows up on camera there. Like they could probably be uh, upgraded a little bit. And we have our engine fans. And you can see the shape of the uh, wing here. And there, there is a little, I'm guessing in real life the way these uh, like uh, flaps are, they sit there they must have that gap in there, but it's in there. And our lower nose section. And I guess our wheels here are a separate piece, which is kind of interesting the way they did that. So this kit looks, I mean, it's amazing for its time. And I honestly don't see unless they, at some time they re-release all their kits again, and that's highly doubtful that they will. I, like, you're not going to get another one. Nobody else is really going to make one of these. And there is, like, um, an Italeri, um 72nd scale one. But, like, this is, uh, this is just an awesome kit. And its size is, it's really big, but it isn't, like, too big. It, it isn't, like, annoyingly big. And it's, uh... It, it looks like a pretty good build. It looks like a straightforward build. There's not a ton of parts to it. It looks good. And uh, so I just wanted to show it here. And hopefully I can finish this. Um, like when I start it. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it by sometimes. Probably be the middle of next year. when uh, By the time it's done. And I'm going to compare it to my older build that I did like. 20 years ago just to see the progression the modeling progression and uh, anyway so other than that uh, thank you for watching